So uh, let me tell you a little story. Last uh, night, I went out to a fancy restaurant, kind where they, uh, somebody else carries your tray to your table, you know? <laughs> And I went to the bathroom to wash my hands, because I'm not a barbarian. And I had oil on my hands, because I had been putting in a new transmission in my Mustang. And that's not true. I, uh, I had magic marker on my hands, because I was drawing a cat on the placemat. Anyway, so I had a problem. After I washed my hands, I could not dry them, because public restrooms don't use paper towels anymore. Instead, there's all these different kinds of air dryers and none of them work because the dryers are too weak. They're just shallow, warm puffs of air, like Larry King's breath or something like that. <laughs> but then some places have those super high power hand dryers that and you, you can tell someone's using it because it sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> all the lights in the building dim. It's terrifying. If you're the person in the stall, it's quiet, and all of a sudden you hear <laughs> The, bl the blow dryer, it, it, it blows your hands so hard that the skin flaps on your hands. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it doesn't dry your hands. It just makes waves in your skin until you finally give up and wipe your hands on your pants. <laughs> the newest one I've seen, th it, this is something, and the name of it is the, the Airblade. Have you seen this Airblade thing that you, you, yeah. You dip your hands into it and you try not to touch the sides. It's, it's like a game of operation, it, but. <laughs> Instead of hearing a buzzer, you catch influenza. That's what happens in there. I guess the dryers are better than those old school cloth ones. Do you remember those things where you would pull down a section, which was just as dirty as the old section? You would just search for a new section. That, I don't think that ever got cleaned. I, you still see them once in a while, but I, I don't think there's cloth left. I think the material is made out of other people's germs. That's just, that's how solid it is. No matter what kind of dryer they have, your hands never get dry. You have to touch the doorknob with wet hands, which is really the grossest feeling, because everyone else has touched it with their wet ha hands. So you're trying to nudge the door open. You're trying to open the door. <laughs> Hopefully, it opens out with your, with your butt or your elbows. You're trying to open the door like that. By the time you get the door open, you have to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> My point is, everyone's hands are filthy dirty, so keep them to yourself, because I'm going to dance through the aisles.